Now the thing is, for example, in your base, if I open pip list, okay, it will show you all the libraries that are installed on your base. So there are tons of libraries that are installed, like tons and tons of it. So base is not a good example to show you. Uh, let's take a different one, maybe conda env list. We actually downloaded one environment, which is Python 3.10. Let's use this conda activate Python 3.10. Now, if I activated this, this is Python 3.10. Now, the thing is, uh, we have few packages installed over here. Pip list, if we do it. Yeah, we have a lot of packages installed over here. Right. So, for example, if I want to save all of these packages in a text file, how can I do that? So, that is actually not very difficult. So, it's pip list minus minus format equal to freeze if we do this it is it is what it is doing it is it listed out all the packages and their version that is currently present at python 3.10 so all the versions all the python packages that i have installed and their respective versions now what we can do we can save this to a file so for that we, uh, we can use pip list minus minus format equal to freeze and what we will pass will give a greater than symbol and we will type this as requirements.txt you can give any name requirements.txt is like a standard name that everyone gives and we will follow the standard so I'll give requirements.txt and if I do press enter in, uh, we can see our requirements file got created over here. If I open this, so now you can see all the libraries and their particular version are saved in this particular file. So you can share this file with your schoolmates, your classmates, your colleagues, anyone. So like that, they will be able to get the same uh, libraries on their system also. They can install these libraries on the system also. And I will show you how you can install, for example, someone gave you this one, requirements.txt, how you can install this on your system. So for that, let's let's create a new environment. Maybe create conda create Python 3.10, maybe. Uh, we just need to know the version of Python they are using. Just ask your friend what, what version they are using. It's very difficult to find out the Python version from here because Python version is not mentioned in this particular file. Because if you do control F and search Python, Python version is not mentioned over here. So it's better to get an idea about the Python version that is present. So in our case, I'll use maybe Python version 9. Let's say conda create Python 3.9 test and Python equal to 3.9. If I press enter, okay, I always forget to pass this minus N. And if I press enter, it is it is giving us a prompt give y and enter and it was able to install and if i copy this control c select here control v and if i do pip list okay here you can see nothing is installed fine so currently we are on the desktop Correct. How we can verify ls and we can see we are on the desktop. We have the requirements.file over here, requirements.txt, which is this file. Uh, let's open this. Okay. Now I want to install all of these packages into this particular new environment that we created. So for that, pip install minus r requirements.txt. And if I do enter, you can see all of the packages are getting installed.
and yes all of the packages are installed at our python 3.9 test so if i do pip list to verify you can verify everything that was mentioned in this requirements file they are installed over here so you don't have to go and search okay uh, for example if there are 100 packages you don't have to type a one by one line by line you can just pass uh, this file to pip and pip will be able to install all your packages so generally in my projects you will see that i generally provide the requirements.txt file so this is how you can install those files i mean those packages so if you have not watched uh, my machine learning video i do recommend you can watch that video so if i do github.com slash the curious shell this is my git repository so if we come to rep uh, repositories if you come to maybe we can come down and for example let's go a little bit down machine learning project i knew run okay if i open this you can see this is a requirements.txt file i will be sharing my requirements.txt file with you guys in all of in all of my projects so this is the requirement.txt file so i showed you how to install all of these libraries that are present so let me show how you can install these files okay so if i download this uh i should be able to there is no download option it seems fine we'll create raw i'll copy this okay fine i'll go back i'll close this i'll delete this requirements the txt file I'll create a new file which is same as requirements.txt and if I open this and if I paste this over here and save it and again close this right click open in terminal you can open in command prompt whatever you like so you have to create a new environment for that so now what we will do conda create minus m python python ml python equal to maybe 3.9 it is asking for our prompt i'll give yes and now if i select this control c and i do control v and if i do enter okay we are inside our environment and now i'll do pip install minus r requirements q u i you can use tab and it will be auto completed dot txt why it is showing like that okay i don't need to pass the extension it seems it will be just requirements so requirements or txt fine by by, uh, by default this is a txt file so i don't have need to pass extension to this but here i have to pass so let's make this a little bit clear I'll go to view. I'll go to file name extensions. So now you can see this is requirements.txt, right? So pip install minus r requirements.txt. And if I press enter, you can see all the libraries are getting installed. SciPy, scikit-learn. Then it will also install Flask. And see, it installed everything. So if I now clear my screen, do pip list all the packages that were mentioned in this requirements that file, they are present. Isn't it so simple? All of them are installed over here. Certify, click, color number, flask, unicorn, is dangerous, ninja, job lib. So I can see few more packages like wheel and there are a few that were installed previously and that are, that is present over here but not over here but that's that's completely fine so all of the packages that were present it was installed over here so pretty pretty easy right all of this that i showed you using pip 
you can also do it using conda but generally it is not recommended you use conda and pip together just use pip pip is easier pip is like a little bit faster than conda in many cases i have seen like pip can install tensorflow faster rather than conda so i generally recommend you can use pip but you can also use conda you can check the documentation in the documentation everything is mentioned properly 